following program was produced by the United States Courts. In general, you get somewhere, you do better by working at it. It just doesn't come to you. It doesn't, you know, roll into your lap. You've got to make an effort. You've got to, to try hard. I was born in Hong Kong and left when I was two years old in 1956. My parents, my older sister, my younger brother, and I, we all came to the U.S. Growing up, we lived uh, in what was known as Hell's Kitchen. My grandfather was a waiter in Chinese restaurants, and my father was a cook in Chinese restaurants. My mother was a seamstress in Chinatown uh, garment factories. We had a one-bedroom apartment. The bathroom was in the hallway, shared with other tenants on the floor. Um, we didn't have a shower. We had a, a tub. The tub was in the kitchen. There were five kids. The five of us slept in what was ostensibly the living room. But that was not uncommon for people in this neighborhood in the 50s. The law naturally appealed to me in part because of the challenges that we faced as I was growing up. You get better because of challenges. You know, if, if your life is simply easy and everything's handed to you on a, on a platter, you're not going to learn as much. I think it's having the difficulties in life and how you handle them. I mean, I think that's how you develop some character and strength. One of the best things that I did as a judge over the years was to preside over the naturalization ceremony, the ceremony by which new Americans were sworn in. I would tell uh, the new citizens about my grandfather who came to this country from China in 1916. And then he worked his way to New York City. I would literally take his naturalization petition, which I have framed in my chambers. I would hold it up and show it to the citizens. When I was growing up, in my mind, my grandfather was just a waiter, a Chinese waiter. And I did not think of him as a trailblazer in any way. And now I think back to what it must have been like as a 20-year-old who spoke no English to come across the ocean, to come to a new country where he knew no one, with no money. And how by becoming a citizen, he was able to bring his family over here and how he worked hard, how my parents worked hard, how I was naturalized as a result, and how someday I found myself uh, a federal judge there presiding over this wonderful ceremony.